Hey guys, Novix here, and welcome back to another Sony Vegas tutorial. And uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to do um, what is kind of known as screen pumping, or uh, whatever you want to call it, thumping, uh, screen pumping, whatever. Uh, so I have both a clip and a song, and my screen just went black. I don't know why it does that. It just changes uh, colors when um, I start recording. So I'm going to import both. And I'm going to want to, this works with best with dubstep songs, and I'm going to want to find the drop in the dubstep song. And I'm also going to want to find the shot. Okay, so there's the shot right there. I'm going to make it right there. I'm going to split that right there. Alright, and then I also found the drop of the song. And uh, let's line that up there. So here it goes, it goes, um, he jumps, shot, and it drops. And um, I'm also going to kind of give you guys a little uh, cheat or tip or whatever you want to call it um, for making it look like you Twixter. Um, but first, I'm going to mark the spots on the song. So I just muted the other thing so it wouldn't lag at all. And uh, yeah. All right, that looks pretty good. And um, so... This song doesn't, I mean, this uh, clip doesn't really work. Uh, it works better if, well, there is a reload, but there's a wall right there, so it looks kind of poopy. Um, but make sure that this is at best full, and save a snapshot. Just save it. And you're going to want to split the clip right there, too. Whoopsie. I think it was, like, right there. I hope so. And yeah, that's that looks pretty nice. And um, so here we have this. And when you're doing the screen flashing and pumping, you can't really tell that there's no twixter. It just looks like it's gonna be really slow. So um, I'm gonna put that there, and you want to split every. every uh, marker you put and so I'm just gonna do that much and I'm going to want to go to the event pan crop and you're gonna want to pull it in a little bit and then go to the end and uh, if you want to save a preset and then make it back on what was before and then you're going to want to go to video effects brightness and contrast brighter put it on there animate Let's go to the end, go zero, zero, and um, so this is what it looks like. It does a little flash, and it also pumps a little bit, and then it comes back down. Um, but instead of having to do that on all of them, you could just right-click and go copy, and then click on the first one, and then drag it. I mean, uh, hold shift and click on the last one right click and go paste event attributes so it goes so uh, yeah that's basically it guys you can do as many as you would like and uh, yeah that's basically it um, I hope that this helped and I know that this has been on uh, some tutorial channels um, but people don't really still don't really know how to do it right and uh, so that's how I do it. So, um, yeah, uh, rate, comment, subscribe, and see you guys later.